We use our tongue to eat, drink, talk, and breathe. Most tongues have anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 taste buds, but they are not visible to the human eye. Every 10 to 14 days, a person's taste buds die off and are replaced. The ability to roll or curl your tongue is not entirely genetic, and it may be something you can learn. Just like fingerprints, everyone's tongue print is completely different. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Alyssa, what has two holes, no legs, and runs? I don't know. A nose! <laughs> hey, Jared. What has two hands but can't clap? I don't know. A clock! <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Well, I would tell you a chemistry joke, but I don't think it would get a reaction. What has a head and a tail, but has no body? A quarter! <laughs> How do you make one disappear? Just add a G and it's gone. G. Brain play. What sounds can you make without moving your lips? I can make a humming sound. You're going to be really weird. <laughs> Can you figure out who I am? I am often the first person who shows up when there's an emergency. I make sure my vehicle is properly fueled cleaned, and stocked with medical supplies. I know CPR and have medical training that can be helpful. I transport patients to the hospital in a hurry. I am a good and safe driver, but sometimes I have to drive fast. Who am I? driver. Human bones continuously grow in length from birth up until your mid-twenties. The longest bone in the human body is in your thigh. It's called the femur. In your hand, there are 27 different bones. So in both hands, that's 54 bones. The smallest bone in the human body is called the stirrup, and it's only one-tenth of an inch long. When you're born, your body has 300 bones. But when you become an adult, you only have 206. Pretty cool, huh? Brain play. Using just words, describe how to skip. I put my leg up and I jump. I put my other leg up and I jump. You, so you um, kind of lift up your leg and then bounce on it twice and then the other leg and bounce on it twice. You put one foot up and you s jump and then you put one foot in front of that foot that just was put out and then you do it again. You can do it really fast or really slow or you can do it really high or really low. You take one foot and you jump on it twice and then really extremely quickly you use the other foot and do the exact same thing. You're kind of jumping and running at the same time, but you're not like doing only one of them. You're, it's kind of like a combination together. Start walking, then lift up your knees, 
then you technically skip. <laughs> What's hairy and coughs? A coconut with a cold! What kind of book is best to read when you have a cold? A sinus fiction novel. What wild animal might you see at the dentist's office? A molar bear. <laughs> hey Sam, what kind of illness can you catch from a ninja? Um, I don't know. The Kung Fu! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Choo! Hey Mia, what? What did a doctor give the pig for its rash? I don't know, what? Oinkman! <laughs> <laughs> what did the elevator say to the other elevator? I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> Can you figure out who I am? I do a lot of research about people. I study things from the past and how they connect to today. I work with historical records, genetic analysis, and old charts all the time. I work with trees, but not the kind of trees that are outside. I can tell you about your ancestors, who they were, where they were from, and who they married. Who am I? A genealogist. Achoo! We sneeze in order to give our nose a reboot. Germs, dust, pollen, and pollutants get stuck in our nose and the brain sends a signal to sneeze and get rid of them. Sometimes it takes a bunch of sneezes in a row to get them out of our nose. We don't sneeze when we sleep because the nerves involved in sneezing are relaxed. It's important to cover your nose when you sneeze because the spray from your sneeze can travel five feet or more around you. Some people sneeze from the sun when they walk from inside to outside. This is called photic sneezing. Photic means light. A single sneeze can come out as fast as 100 miles per hour. Pretty cool, huh? Can you figure out who I am? My uniform is tight and often shiny. You can learn my skill starting at a very young age, sometimes as young as toddlers. My job requires that I be very flexible and also very strong. My sport takes place at the Summer Olympics. There are all kinds of different types of what I do, including floor exercises, steady rings, vault, and balance beam. Who am I? A gymnast. Make it. Hey Richard, what are you doing? Oh, just coming up with some ideas for a skit. Wanna help? Sure. Okay. Okay. So, the setting is on a TV set. And the character is a chef. And so the serious. twist is, we have to use our buddy's hands. Okay, so you put your hands behind your back, okay. and then I'll go behind you and put my arms through you. Okay, your so like your hands arms. are mine yeah. now? Yeah, okay. so I can so do. Like, hello. La, la, la. So we got all of our stuff, let's go make us play. Woo, let's go. All right. You're looking like a chef already. Woo, so we need my hat. Yes, you do. Okay, first, before we do anything else, we gotta make myself a mustache. What's a chef without the mustache? <laughs> Parker probably would have been easy. <laughs> There's your mustache. Okay. You look very French. I look so amazing. Welcome to the Top Chef cooking show. And today we are going to be making a pie. 
Uh, I'm going to twirl my mustache now because I'm an exquisite French uh, chef. So first we're going to be needing the pie shell. So we're going to pick that up. So it's to my left, way more to my left. <laughs> and yes, and we're going to put it onto the placemat. There we go, right there, yes. And that is how we're going to do it. And now we're going to pick up with a spoon, which is on my right. Yes, a little bit, yeah, there we go. All right, and now we're going to dip it in the, the pudding, which is right here, there we go, okay. And we're going to put it in the pie shell. Uh, there we go, and again. Yes, this is going marvelous. Uh, the recipe was actually from uh, my great, great, uh, okay, well, we spilled just a little bit. <laughs> um, this time, let's try it a little bit to the left. There we go, yes, that's right there. Oh, yes, that's marvelous. And now we're going to grab the whipped cream, and the whipped cream is a little bit more to the left. No, it's more in front of us. There we go. And um, we're going to shake it a little bit more. There we go, okay, and we're going to spray it inside the pie. Yes, that's fantastic. More to the left. There we go, there we go, that's fantastic. And now we're going to put it down, and I want a little bit in my mouth, just because these are fun. <laughs> that's how we do it. And <laughs> we're going to need to wash my face just a little bit, because I do have my <laughs> And now we're going to need to eat the pie. Just a little tiny bite, because that's all we really need is just a little bite. <laughs> there we go, yes. It's going to be very tasty, just a little bit. Just, no, just a little bite. So, yes, there we go, just eat the pie.